graders. ICCA is recognizing Veterans Day this week. We are raising money for Covenant House. Each dollar you donated will bring awareness to how many homeless children there are in our world. Next week, I will be giving up my bed and sleeping outside with limited accessories. If you wish to donate more than the dollar that you donated for Fatigue Day, please send it in with your child labeled Covenant House. Thank you in advance for your support. A little history of Veterans Day. November 11th, 1918 is regarded as the end of the war to end all wars. In 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of our nations. Veterans Day continues to be observed on November 11th, regardless of what day of the week it falls. The observance of Veterans Day not only preserves the historical significance of the date, but helps focus attention on the important purpose of Veterans Day, a celebration to honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of their country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. Veterans Day honors all veterans. Therefore, there is no apostrophe when you spell it. Some academic information for our children. <laughs> there is a difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Memorial Day, we remember those who gave their lives for their country, particularly in battle. Veterans Day honors all of those who have served the country in war or peace, dead or alive. ICCA thanks all the men and women who have served and continue to serve our country. In the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Father, bless our veterans and all who serve our nation, defending our freedom. For those who bravely gave their lives, grant them eternal rest. For those who are serving, give them courage. For those who served, we offer our gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.